friends, I am Kriti, and today we will talk about birds. Birds are different from other animals because most of them can fly in the air. They fly in the air with the help of the wings they have. The wings have feathers attached to them. The feathers which enable the birds to fly are not alike. The feathers are of different types. The feathers that keep the body warm are called down feathers. They are small and fluffy. Body feathers cover the body of a bird. The feathers that help the birds to fly are called flight feathers. They are long and cover the wings and tailbone of the bird. They also help the birds to change the direction while flying high. The skeleton of a bird consists of bones which are hollow and light. This gets filled with air. The muscles of the bird are strong and help in the movement of wings. Birds move their wings up and down while flying. These movements are called upstroke and downstroke movements. There are some birds which are very big in size and heavy in weight. They have wings and strong feet, but they cannot fly at all. Such birds are called flightless birds. For example, ostrich, emu, kiwi, penguin, etc. Amazing fact! The ostrich is the largest bird in the world. It stands 8 feet tall and weighs over 150 kgs. Birds have different types of beaks because they eat different types of food. Beaks also help them to protect themselves from enemy attack. Beaks of the birds of prey like eagle, vulture, owl, etc. are strong, sharp and hooked which enable them to tear the flesh of the animals. Small birds like sparrow, pigeon and hen have such type of beak which help them to pick up and crush their food. Woodpecker has such type of beak which helps it to pick the bark of the trees. Swallow has this type of beak. It is sticky so that insects get stuck inside when it flies with its mouth open. Long and pointed beak of hummingbird helps it to suck nectar from flowers. Amazing fact! A hummingbird flaps its wings up to 90 times a second or over 5000 times a minute. Duck has such type of beak which helps it to obtain the food from the mud. Its beak has a lot of strands all around so that only small fish and insects are retained. Parakeet has this type of beak which helps it to pulp off the fruits and to break the nuts. Birds use their claws just like we use our hands and legs. They use their claws to catch and eat food. 
to move about and to protect themselves from their enemies. All birds have two feet with four toes each. The claws of birds tell us about their living habits. Crow, sparrow, pigeon, etc. have three toes in front and one short toe little raised up at the back. This type of claws helps them to grip the branch of the tree while sitting and even while sleeping. Eagle and vulture have sharp and curved claws called talons for holding small animals like rat, toad and mice. Do you know? Kiwi is the only bird which locates its prey by smell. Squaw is a bird which does not catch its own prey. It steals its prey from another bird. Hence, peacocks, etc. have sharp claws to scratch the earth to find buried insects and seeds. Duck and goose have webbed feet which help them to swim in water. The front three toes are joined by skin which helps them to push the water while swimming. Crane and heron walk through water. They have long legs with spread out toes that help them to walk easily in mud. They pick out fish from the water to eat. Woodpecker and parakeet have two toes pointing upwards and two toes pointing downwards. They help them to climb and grip the tree trunk firmly. Birds, like any other living organism, need a safe place for their young ones. These young ones are very small and not able to take care of themselves. Birds start looking for safe places to build their nests before the onset of summer. You must have seen birds making nests in the trees, tube lights, ventilators, ceilings of old buildings, etc. The male and the female birds together make nests using materials like straw, dry grass, hair, wool, rags, cotton thread, etc. Let us see some of the nests which have been built by birds using no other tools than their beaks. This bird uses its beak to weave the nest using dry strips of palm leaves. This nest sways in air as it hangs down from the tree and birds make entrance from the lower end. It is nice to see this bird sewing the leaves together with threads of cotton, wool, etc. It is kept warm with grass, cotton, wool, etc. The woodpecker with its strong beak digs a hole in the trunk of a tree. It makes it hollow and spacious to accommodate the eggs. The wood shavings and chips keep the nest warm. This bird of prey 
makes a big nest in tall trees. This nest is bigger and like a shallow pool. Penguins live in cold, freezing place. They cannot find twigs or leaves, so they collect some pebbles to make their nest. A kingfisher burrows a hole on the banks of a river to use it as a nest. There are certain clever birds who just look for ready-made nests. The mother coyote, Kaku, looks for a nest of any other bird like crow and lays eggs there. The eggs are laid by the mother bird. Both the he bird and she bird take care of the eggs. They see that no other animal harms them. You should also not touch them. Otherwise, these birds reject those eggs. When the young ones hatch out, they are pink in color, delicate and very small. The mother bird feeds them. The food is taken by the mother bird, softened and gradually put into the mouths of the young ones that can be three to five in number. Baby birds grow up and as soon as they have feathers, they learn to fly and soon start finding food for themselves. Many birds fly from one place to another to escape extreme conditions and to breed. Their long journeys are called migration. Arctic tern is known as the champion of migration. It breeds in North Pole during summers. When it is winter in North Pole, it flies all the way to South Pole and then returns back to North Pole in summer. The study of birds is called ornithology and a person who studies birds is called an ornithologist. Dr. Salim Ali was a famous ornithologist of India. He wrote many beautiful books about birds and he did a lot for conservation of birds and wildlife. He was awarded Padma Vibhushan by the government of India. Let us summarize. Birds are able to fly because they have streamlined body, flight feathers, hollow bones and wings. Birds like ostrich, emu, penguin and kiwi are called flightless birds because they cannot fly. Birds have different types of beaks because they eat different types of food. Birds use their claws for movement, for holding things and for protection. Birds build their nests to lay eggs and keep their babies safe from bad weather and enemies. Study of birds is called ornithology and a person who studies birds is called ornithologist.